Hi guys, this is Techzilla, I'm back again. This time I'm doing a video comparing the HTC U11 against the HTC U11 Plus. A lot of you have been asking me to produce this video, and at the moment I'm filming this intro on both devices using their selfie cameras. So let me know in the comments below which one you think is better. The one on the right is the HTC U11 Plus, and the one on the left is the HTC U11. Um, looking at the screens, the U11 Plus seems to have a wider angle lens on the selfie camera. Uh, I seem closer in the image on the U11. Um, and also the U11 seems to be looking brighter. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to be exploring the cameras, the sound quality and loudness of the speakers. Um, it's taken me a bit longer to make this video than I'd hoped. Uh, reason being is I was waiting for the uh, Oreo update for the U11 to make it more fairer. Um, we're also going to be looking at the screen because a lot of people, a lot of you out there keep asking me, is the screen dimmer than the U11? So stay tuned for that. We're going to go through all these things bit by bit. And let me know in the comments what you think of this selfie cameras. Which one do you think sounds and looks better? Hit my intro. So guys, what did you think? Which was the better selfie camera? The U11 or the U11 Plus? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll show some a couple of video samples and photo samples later on in this video. Uh, just for you to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I won't get into too much depth when it comes to the cameras because I personally don't think there's a huge difference that would make you justify buying one phone or over the other. Now, there's three questions I keep getting asked continuously about the U11 and the U11 Plus. First question is, if I have a U11, is it worth upgrading to the U11 Plus? That's what I'm gonna try and help you decide in this video. I'm not gonna tell you which one you should buy. You make your own decisions from what I show you in this video effectively. Um, second question and third question is, are both questions, unfortunately, because of GSM Arena's review, um, that I keep getting asked constantly. Now, number one, oh, number two, sorry, question number two, I keep getting asked, GSM Arena said the battery's no good in their review. Uh, is this true? Now, those of you who follow me on Twitter will have seen me post up s screenshots of my U11 Plus and the battery usage I've been getting. Now, I'm not saying GSM Arena is wrong. I'm not saying I'm right or whatever. All I'm saying to you is, this is the results I have been getting with my U11 Plus. Um, and I use my phone in real world usage, meaning I use it as a daily driver throughout the day as I would my normal phone that I always use. I put my main SIM card in it and I use it that way. That's how I test battery life for me uh, and for you guys. Now, if you haven't seen, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, click on the link in the description after this video and follow me there. But I, Cannot agree with GSM Arena. The battery life I get on the U11 Plus is phenomenal. A um, couple of examples. I was late with my 24 hours review video or impressions video of this because I couldn't kill the battery on it. If that doesn't tell you how good this battery is, nothing will tell you. Um, and this is realistic. I, I think it was, I got over two days standby time with, I think I was around four hours, four and a half hours of uh, screen on time. So using it quite lightly over two days, I got two solid days of standby time. And that's with an LTE going, GPS on, and Wi-Fi all going at the same time. And that's me using it daily, I didn't off anything. I didn't put in battery saving mode, nothing. Um, I also then 
later on posted a screenshot where I achieved over 10 hours screen on time. Uh, I think it was around eight with 18 hours standby time and that's really pushing a phone. I mean, 10 hours screen on time, I actually had to force force the phone to give, to give me 10 hours screen on time. I know it sounds weird, but bear with me. I deliberately kept watching movies and so on to get the battery to die on me. That's how hard it was to kill the battery. So I do not know what GSM Marine is talking about. So if you're worried about that, let's talk about um, battery real quick then. Uh, this is near, near enough a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and the U11 is a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Both batteries are fantastic. Um, this gives me around seven, seven and a half hours screen on time with around 15 hours standby time. Uh, so obviously it gives you less battery power than this. So the battery is definitely better on this in my experience. So there's the difference in battery. So you put, get on paper and pen, write these points down and you decide. Um, what was the third question? There was a third question. Oh, the screen. So let's move on to the screen real quick. Um, because of GSM Marina again, they said the screen is terrible on the U11 Plus, it doesn't get bright enough in direct sunlight and so on. Now, the best way for me to answer this is I'm going to show you, I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to load both phones up with a color app so you can both, you can see different colors on each screen and you can decide which one looks better to your eyes. That's the best way of doing it, I think. Um, and I'll put them full, on full brightness. I'll take it off auto uh, brightness as well. And I'll switch off any night mode or anything like that. And I'll put them side by side so you can see for yourselves. Now, realistically speaking, I live in the UK, so we don't get hugely bright sunshine all the time here. And because we're in winter time now, there isn't a huge amount of sun. But I haven't had real difficulty seeing this screen in direct sunlight on the uh, U11 Plus. I just haven't. Um, it's not as bright as, say, a Note 8 would be. It's not as bright as the iPhone 8 Plus is. Uh, but realistically, in my eyes, the way I've seen it, I actually think the U11 screen is brighter than the uh, Plus screen. So the U11 is brighter, the Plus is dimmer. Not by a huge amount, but a little bit, and that's just to my eyes. Now, I think it could be to do with the color profiles that they've changed uh, in the U11 Plus. Um, they had a, a, they've both got, I think it's sRGB. Let me just bring it up real quick. So on the U11 Plus, you have a DCI P3 mode optimize color range and saturation for this phone. And you've got sRGB as well. Now this has two modes as well, the U11. This has got what's called Vivid, and it's also got sRGB as well. So that might have something to do with the actual difference in brightness or whatever. Um, I'm not entirely sure, I'm not an expert on it, but as I said, I think the U11 is a bit brighter. Uh, I think the colors are a bit more vivid as well. Um, but let me show you the, well, the test I did and you let me know in the comments below which screen you think looks better to you.
Right guys, what did you think of that? Do you agree with me? Do you think the U11 is a bit brighter than the U11 Plus? What do you think about the colors between the two? Which one looks more richer? Let me know in the comments below. Um, while we're talking about the screens, we might as well uh, move on to the next part. They're both 2K screens. This one is a 5.5 inch 16 by nine. Uh, this is, a, let's call it a six inch 18 by nine. Now, I'm not gonna go any more on about the screens, but that's gonna be a big deciding factor in itself for any of you out there um, as to whether you prefer 16 by nine or if you prefer 18 by nine. I personally prefer 18 by nine on some devices and on others I prefer 16 by nine. Uh, I'd also say, I might as well answer this question as well, which is a bit strange in this video. Uh, the Mate 10 I have, it has a brighter screen than this as well, than the Plus. And a lot of people have been asking me that. So that's what I'm gonna talk about on the screens. You decide from the, the facts I've given you and the images and tests. And let me know down below what you think about screens. Now, the next big change that's an obvious change is the U11 has the fingerprint sensor on the front with capacitive touch keys. And the U11 Plus has the fingerprint sensor on the back now with on-screen navigation keys. Now, speed of both fingerprint sensors, and I'll try and do this as, e as best as possible. I'll try and unlock both on camera right now. So three, two, one. Which one look faster to you guys? Let me close that again. Let's go again. Three, two, one. I don't know, would you say they're about the same? I'll try it one more time, let me look at it this time. Hold on. Three, two, one. I'd say the U11 is a little bit faster. There seems to be a slight delay on the plus. What do you guys think? Um, now with the capacitive keys here, obviously they light up on the sides here when you touch it. Um, but you're limited, you can't move them. So you've got your back and uh, multitask key here on the U11. But on the plus, what I really like is you've got your back button, home button, um, multitask button. You've got your screen off switch. You, um, you can hide the, the keys as well, the navigation keys. And if you swipe, from the right to the left, it also brings up another navigation navigation keys, I suppose. Uh, you can take a screenshot, um, you can do a screen record, things like that. So I actually prefer the on-screen buttons on the U11 Plus, that's just personal preference uh, to me. Uh, another change is the always-on display. You do not get that on the U11, you only get on the plus, which I like. Um, there, there is a little bit of light bleed. I don't know if you'd call it light bleed, but in a really dark room, you can see a little bit of light under the screen from this corner here. From here. Um, and it it's not hugely bright, but it can be irritating in, in, in dark environments. So the way I've got my always on display set up, is it doesn't come on unless I move the phone. So I prefer having that than not having it. You can switch it off. Uh, you can have it just set to stay on permanently as well. So that's another change that might affect your decision. I'm just looking down here at my notes in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I don't want to miss anything out. Um, ah, speaker volume. Now this is another thing people have been asking me. How are the speakers on this phone? Now, I will leave a link at the end of this video to a speaker battle I did, and this was just purely in terms of volume. Um, it was the Mate 10, the Note 8, the U11, the U11 Plus, and there was one other device. I can't remember what the other device was. But anyway, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. You can check it out for yourselves. 
Um, HTC claimed the U11 Plus is about 30% louder than the U11. Um, all I can say is it is definitely louder than the U11 from my testing, but I wouldn't say it's 30% louder. I definitely wouldn't say that. So is that gonna persuade you to get the Plus? Again, it's your decision, guys. Headphones, no difference in the headphone output. They sound exactly the same to me. Uh, sound quality is the same. Core quality is the same. Reception quality is the same. Uh, feel in the hand and build quality. Now, let, we haven't spoken about that. Now, the U11 is a bit wider than the Plus because it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Um, but it's also a little bit shorter. Whereas obviously the 18 by nine aspect ratio of the U11 Plus is a thinner, taller device. Which do I feel more comfortable holding? To me, I actually prefer the way the U11 feels in my hand. Um, because the back of it is a little bit more kind of rounded than the U11 Plus. And because I've got bigger hands, I've got quite big hands, it feels more natural to hold a wider device in my hand uh, than it does a thinner device. But the thinner device is easier to hold, but the, let me start that again. The Plus is easier to hold, but the U11 is more comfortable to hold. That just saying, that's the way I, how I see it. That's how it, I, how it feels to me. Now I'm gonna go quiet for a bit guys. I'm gonna put on some photos I've taken in a couple of videos between the U11 and the U11 Plus. Let me know in the comments below what you think, which one gives the better results in your opinion. To me, I don't think there's much in it personally. Um, I think they're, they're pretty equally matched. Uh, I don't think you'd make your decision on the cameras alone. I don't think it's really relevant, but I've done it just for you guys to say you've seen it. So have a look at it and then we'll be right back after that.
So what did you guys think about the video and the photo comparison between the U11 and the U11 Plus? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, to me, personally, I think it's too close to call, but that's just me personally. So let's just summarize now to help you guys out which one should you buy and why. Um, we're gonna talk about some of the points and some other points I didn't make. Um, quickly, one thing I wanna mention about the screens. This one has a more pinkish, slightly reddish hue to it. This one's a bit whiter. So whether this is calibrated, more color calibrated than this, than the U11, could be the reason, I don't know. But this has got slight, slight pinkish, reddish hue to it on the whites, where this has got a more bluish hue to the whites. So take that into consideration as well, guys. Um, price is an important factor. Um, now these are both six gig, uh, of RAM, both 120 gigs of storage and both uh, dual SIM versions. I picked them both up from Wonder Mobile. Uh, this one what is I think it's just under 500 pounds or around that amount now. This one's 610 pounds. So price may be a factor for you as to which one you, you go for. So bear that in mind. I'll leave links down below as always. Now, Let's just summarize real quick. Cameras, to me, I don't think you can really justify one camera over the other. Headphone output is not really justifiable. They're both running the uh, Oreo 8.0. Uh, they both have the scroll wheel feature, which I didn't show in this video, but you can launch it with the squeeze. Um, now let's talk about the positives of each phone individually. Uh, I prefer the on-screen buttons as to opposed to the capacitive touch ones on the U11. Uh, because of the on-screen buttons, you can hide them. You've got a lot more options there to bring up other keys as well when you swipe across. Uh, so that I prefer. Uh, I'd say the fingerprint sensor is a little bit faster on the U11, but that could be just because of the way I'm trying to... It's not hugely faster, but it is a little bit from what I saw anyway. This is an 18 by nine, this is a 16 by nine screen. I'd say the U11 has a slightly brighter screen than the U11 Plus. Not hugely, but it looks, the colors look richer and the screen looks brighter on the U11. Uh, let me know if you agree with me down below. So that's a win for the U11. Uh, speakers are louder on the Plus, but, but not by 30%, but they are louder. So the, U, the Plus takes it in speakers uh, volume. Uh, both sound excellent in my opinion. What else? Oh, the U11 Plus is easier to hold. And this is just my opinion because of the thinness of it, but it is a bit top heavy. Whereas the U11, the standard, feels more comfortable and more ergonomic to hold. Again, that's just me personally. Uh, battery life, this has definitely got a better battery life than the U11, but the U11 has got a great battery life anyway. This just takes that ball and runs with it further. Um, and for me, it's significantly better. Uh, this is a very good battery life, especially for a 3000 milliamp hours. This is just out of this world battery life. And I've proved it with these screenshots I've shown you guys on Twitter. Uh, have I missed anything out? Oh, the, the U11 Plus has an always-on display, if I didn't mention it. I mentioned it earlier, but that's a positive for this, where this doesn't have the option, even with the latest update. So I like the on-screen always-on display. It just, it's just very helpful for me personally. I'm just looking there, making sure I haven't missed anything. There you have it, guys. I think about just about covered the major things there. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you decide to upgrade to this, if you have the U11, uh, or if you decide to buy this over a U11. And also bear in mind, some of you might be running a U11 with four gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage, which is a different ball game altogether than that makes this even more appealing in my opinion. 
because it has the extra grunt behind it. So let me know down below, which one do you prefer? Are you shocked by the results? Um, have I persuaded you one way or the other? Uh, anything you want else you want to ask me, hit me up below in the comments, that is, comments. Anyway, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell icon. I have got my next video that I'll be posting will be the U11 Plus versus the Huawei Mate 10. Um, so hit that uh, bell icon so you get notified when I upload the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you didn't, but hit that subscribe button and share this with all your social media and all your friends. And this is Texas saying take care, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.